friends and welcome to my 15 minutes video. Today we will talk about the white walls. Uh, again I have a, this nice photo for reference. This is a Portugal, one of my favorite country. All my visits uh, in that country I'm just enjoying my time there. We all the time have uh, two solutions when we're talking about the white walls. The solution number one. We can try to pick up exactly the same colors what we see with all the textured things inside, with all the tone values, or we can just left it like a white. Because in our 15 minutes videos we're talking about the sketching, today we're gonna use exactly that solution. We just left the white walls like clear paper. So you already saw my reference photo and don't be wrong. I never make that mistake. I'm not gonna copy that photo. I just transform it, change the composition and use it just for reference, nothing more. So let's go. I'll make the simple sketch and we start to paint. Remember, when you're doing the sketch, you're just measuring your space. You don't create the perfect plan, you just make the simple map. And because we decide to left the white walls like clear paper, we have to make the sky this time. For the sky I'm gonna use the mix between cobalt and phthalo blue green shade. The sky I need just like a negative space to create the silhouette of my town. some clouds there so blending that was easy part because we have a few golden rules about the watercolor and one of them from light to shadow, that's why my second step will be the light on the ground. For this I'm going to use the same mix what I used before, just plus Cuny Sienna. 
that make it a little bit more warmer and look nice. The sienna itself. And I will try to connect that to my buildings. It doesn't mean what I'm starting to paint the walls, I just make the soft connection. Because in other case it will look like I cut it from the another painting and just glue it there, which is not interesting. And just a few lines to show the direction and wash out. If you want to make it interesting, just spray it by water. That's all the time, very nice effect. Before we start to paint our shadows and the, all the details, I have to make it dry. Now we go into the next step. We starting to create our shadows. For the shadows I mix my two favorite colors, indigo and purine violet. That's make a very nice purple color for me. Somewhere I add inside a little bit Queen Crudon Sienna to make the warm reflection. And let's go. I like the details on the photo, you saw that before. And you know, if I will make some long time painting in my studio, I'm gonna pick up all that small details, but for now we're talking about the sketch. That's why we have to find a simple solution how to explain our subject. And like I say, sometimes I add some oranges colors inside to make the nice reflection of the of the light. I spent a time for this part because it's close to us and I have to make it a little bit more detailed. Other part will make more simple. Some lights inside. Yes, that's nice reflection. See, it's already look like a something, right? And we softly put some buildings here on the background. A little bit more grayish. And at the same moment, I will start to create the, the shadow on the ground. I prefer to keep all my parts, the shadow parts, connected.
So what's the idea about the keep the walls like a white paper? For sure if I just left it look like that it will be empty and strange. But we have a few great things what can help us. First of all, first of all we have a windows and a lot of small details. And the most important we have a shadows from the details. That's exactly what we need <clears throat> to explain the lights. So I mean if I just put some shadows from these subjects on my painting that will be enough to explain the lights and make the details and the walls understandable and visible. For the shadow on the first plan here I will try to use the dry brush strikes which make it more interesting and nice. Okay, so the basic light is already done. It's already look like a something. So now we're starting to create our details. And that, I hope, make our painting look alive. I'm still working with the big shapes for now. And in a few minutes we switch to the details. And the last touching. Okay, that was our step number two. We create all big shadows. So for now I switch to my pointy brush. Here is it. And we're starting to create the details. You know, I like that blue doors what we have here. That's why I'm going to paint it with a mix again. The same colors what we use for the sky. Cobalt plus tall blue green shade. And look at, look at the bottom of the, all the street here. All what I need to make the difference between the ground and the buildings, just make some shadows what we have here with the some details. That will be enough. So that's it, we separated, and that's exactly what we need from this. And that magic what we are trying to do to make the walls look like finish it.
We already talked before about the graphic design, what we put on top on our watercolor. So that we repeat here as well. We have a very nice lamp there, so let's do that. Again, I spent here a little bit more time than usual because it's more close to us and I'm trying to make all that nice details. Not all of them, for sure we will make the selection, but the details what I think I need for my painting. And like usual, if I have chance to put the wires or some details, I'm going to use that because that makes it look very live. And sorry, I removed the the person here who was on the on the photo honestly i i like to paint the people on the street that's for sure but this time because it's like a simple exercise about the sketching we're not focusing on that Almost done. Just a little bit more touching with the shadows. We have another one lamp here, but uh, I'm just ignore it because it doesn't make sense to make everything what we see. You know, we are not copy machines. We are an artist, so selection is the one of the most important part of our job. I know you you waiting where I'm starting to create the, the wires on the street again, so yes, I will.
we finished our sketch and just look we left a clear white paper for the I can say it's like a third part of the whole the paper and it's not look empty or unfinished because we put a lot of small I couldn't see details small touching on top of that and that's change everything so sometimes you can be really lazy and left the white paper with the big shapes a lot like that and finally it still will be look nice thank you for watching and please subscribe on my channel and like this video if you really like it thank you for watching and see you next monday bye bye